So we are very excited to unveil the Severn Solar Array. It's a 631 kilowatt photovoltaic system, which is just a great example of the university's ongoing commitment to being a national leader of sustainability. We are in the immortality business. What that means is we educate the next generation, we shape their lives, and because of the impact that we have on the next generation, they in turn pass on their values and those attitudes to the generations that follow. We have an impact upon generations that are unseen. Welcome to the Severn Building. This is the former Washington Post printing plant that the University of Maryland purchased in 2010 after the Washington Post consolidated their printing operations. The total array is 2,632 solar panels. It will become a base of operations for our facilities management and motor pool operations for the university. Well, I think this, this project has meaning at a few different levels. Obviously for the university, it does a couple of things. It's clearly in line with the mission of the Office of Sustainability and the whole academic mission of the campus to participate in the development of new forms of renewable energy. Uh, it's actually a good financial deal for the university. When all the incentives came together, we were able to provide a price of electricity from this system to the university that's actually a little bit less than conventional power today. So it's also economically uh, beneficial to the university. And of course to the state at large, uh, this is part of a broader effort in the state of Maryland to increase renewable energy generation across the state, helping the environment, creating jobs, uh, leading to a better future all around. There's been so much leadership um, throughout the university state and, and local businesses in investing in solar energy and renewable energy in general. A lot of it can be also helped by a, a student push for it because it's really our futures that depend on it. Students can get involved in numerous different student groups and be active in the community or in leadership positions. So it's really great for them to uh, take that step um, and push the university, which in turn pushes the state and pushes the country in taking a leadership role in our energy future. Well, one thing is great is, all right, we are in a classroom, we see it on, you know, TV, the internet, but now we can actually go to a solar power plant and, you know, actually see everything that's involved. I mean, all right, we all know about the solar panels and, you know, we'll have an efficiency number, but to see the infrastructure that's needed, the, you know, the power lines, the inverters, you know, everything all, and you see that it's, you know, it's not easy and it requires, you know, a lot of thought, a lot of engineering to, you know, do it the most efficient.